Megabug is under construction, and uh, I need to finish this off. I delayed the sort of finishing move for a very long time. This should take like three days technically, but for me it's difficult to put myself to focus and fix things. It's a lot of work sometimes that you simply don't anticipate. All I need is saving system for icons and then uh, simple card functionality should still remain the same. Icons are merely these things. I zoom in, I take a piece of this, bam bam, I name it, icon divine and move on with my life. But it all has to work, which is the hard part, flawlessly. So I'm going to focus on that because we're way too close. And the moment I can make custom cards is the moment things move forward significantly faster. But I have a little bit of material here. A little bit of something that we can craft into a video. First of all, the never-ending passion for Elder Scrolls Legends. I know there's competitive people out there for some reason. I don't know why. And I will weed them out by clicking this video. Yes, it's League of Legends. It's misspelled Elder Scrolls Legends. I'm sorry, guys. No, it's a good video, it seems. I want to watch the whole thing in comments. A test someone who's been playing League since way before his balls dropped I often think back to those early games on Summoner's Rift. Something about this epic tank quality graphics was so immersive, champions had unique identities as their abilities were simple, but individual. My friends and I would queue up plain old normals for hours, without a care in the world about who would go what lane or if our comp synergized well together, we simply played who we wanted to play and enjoyed the game for what it was. A game. But over time games started getting more competitive. Story as old as time, right? Game weaponized against yourself. Because you want to be better, you want to be the best Tetris player in the world. I hope you know that's a real thing that's going on, the, the Tetris thing. The best six Tetris players. Holy shit, man. Straight into the hospital they go after uh, uh, their achievements to humanity, you know? Yeah, this is extremely relevant and funny enough. We're playing a game that's not competitive. There's nothing to it. I, I want to win all nine games. And it might be difficult. We might get into a, a bump here and there. We might want to play a different way of like a little bit more gambling with that one <laughs> that I just clicked. Maybe I want to draw more cards. Maybe I want to troll my opponent. Fuck yeah. I want to troll my opponent. I get to choose my destiny of what I'll be experiencing today. And it's so easy. It's in your face. You just click a bunch of buttons and you're playing. Very quick games. No frustration. Even Hearthstone has the same thing. Which is called adventures. Which is something that they discontinue doing for some reason. You know, maybe it's not profitable. <laughs> Ouch. Also, funny enough, uh, the trailer is pretty cool for Elder Scrolls Legends. Too mysterious, though. Spare us your stories, old man. Here. Stories can do surprising things. This is the story of a forgotten hero who changed the very course of history. Dragonborn, right? No? Well, that sucks. Real blade. I, I don't know who's the enemy, who's the bad guy. I'm just like, okay. okay there's, there's a dude. It's very underwhelming, but kind of interesting. You know, from Bethesda, you would expect RPG card game. That would be fucking insane. Instead, RPG card game was made by the Witcher team, the, the Red Thing, Project Red or something. And it kind of sucked. The RPG card game kind of fucking sucked because you have to really build it in a way that you cannot just be overpowering the game. You cannot just find the best strategy and use the same thing over and over again. You have to reinvent yourself. Uh, kind of like Bellatro. Like, Bellatro ends, and you have to restart it, 
with more pressure on your face. So you can't just win with the same thing. Also, it's randomized, right? So that would be a pretty good way to do RPG style. Maybe Elder Scrolls Legends comes back. I don't know. I don't know what Bethesda is doing anymore. Uh, they should just do more random things like that. Because that fucking worked. He's just competing against Hearthstone. Takes a little bit more effort, I would say. He can't just make a card game. You have to declare war. You must simply find the path. So let's see what this uh, video is about, because if it dives in deeper into the competitive problems that rises in just video games, I don't want video games to be overly competitive. I don't want people to cry about my silver rank that will always be there until I find the deck that I like playing and I go to Legends straight away. You know, it's not a big deal. But I have to find the most fun thing to do in the game if I want to actually enjoy the competitive part of it as well. Which is, like, not the worst thing, the competitive part, but, like, it, it drains your fucking soul for sure. If you're doing it wrong... Like, exercise, if you're doing wrong... You're wasting yourself with exercise. You're destroying your life. If you're doing it right, you're just gonna be a self-empowering uh, human being. Because you're putting pressure on yourself that you want to have. You, you're going outside. Uh, you're running around. Maybe you lift some weights. I don't know. You gotta find the exercise that has multiple benefits of doing that's the most powerful thing of achieving anything at all you have to find multiple benefits you can't just be like oh i'm gonna achieve this one thing but on the other side i'm completely destroying my life right by doing so i'm completely neglecting all friends and family and all that shit like you can't just waste time time is precious bro we can't just be drunken pieces of shit playing card game all day for me, I'm trying to, like, learn every single aspect of it. All the nitty-gritty, bro, because there's there's a little bit of that going on. There's some uh, fun little things you can learn of, like, just learning which cards are good can teach you a lot about the card game mechanics and all that stuff. Like, is, is this card good? I don't know. I never played it. I never needed something to be cheaper unless it's a very crazy giant spell. Let's take it. And I get to just slightly explore one one or the other aspect of this game by picking these weird cards. That they have to synergize, so we can see it's, it would synergize with the removal. Right? This one I, I don't want to pick because it's, it has proven to be absolute garbage. It's probably not bad as a prophecy, but uh, we can't just take garbage. Borkler, one of the rarest things in this game, and I fucking love that. It's like if you clear the board of all minions, there's nothing to do no more. If you just, that's your reaction to giant minions, just Borkler, all of a sudden stats don't mean anything. You have to find different ways to play the game uh, in terms of Hearthstone, right? You have to either explode the boards before Borkler started being a thing, collect direct damage and constantly deal direct damage. Uh, like, you have to fucking cheese the game all of a sudden in a way that makes very little sense, but still, you know, is playable once you find it, I guess. And uh, again, just because Hearthstone has a big community, that's why I play the game. Otherwise, I wouldn't give a fuck. I would belong in this community. Or other card game community that actually like makes sense to play. That doesn't waste my time. That's the whole most important thing. Just as long as you don't waste my time, I'm a dude. I'm a do your thing, bro. So a uh, person recommended battlegrounds. That's the biggest 
soul drain ever. And he replied, let me check. Until it reached the pinnacle during the ninjification of gaming where prepubescent man-childs realized they could make the big bucks without having to work a shitty 9 to 5 if they- It was all about what rank you are, and being able to act superior to anyone who is a lower rank. Oh my god, he's silver, what a loser. Picking he used to be such a cool dude at bronze, but now he's just silver. I still don't know how good this card is. And, but picking too many experimental cards is a suicide. I don't know, dude said this. Bringing up Gwent looks better than ES Legends. I mean, I don't know. I think visually, well, ES Legends is completely up to par with uh, Hearthstone. One of the coolest visual things is that this is a slider. It goes up and down. The effect... This is technically the minimum position of the slider, but you can add more text to the card than just four lines, I believe. That one thing alone is pretty sweet. There's this sweet little thing you can do on the board, which is way cooler than what you can do in Hearthstone. I can actually choose which one. That's crazy. That's another thing that ES Legends immediately implemented. Ability to choose and target cards. Whether it's in hand or on the board. Yeah, you can target cards in Hearthstone, but not the way you would think. It's usually just a battle cry that allows you to target. This could be passive effects that all of a sudden trigger. Uh, or just... Simple triggers. You trigger the card's effects at any moment and it will target something. It will pause the game, but it will target something. So, uh... Or you can even cancel the effect entirely! That can also be incredibly important. This little flexibility in this card game makes it so fucking OP. Insanely well designed. The attention to detail is what makes the thing so powerful, right? And now I have to pay attention to detail as well. Unfortunately, as a fan, I have to explain it to the noobs. It's probably the most twisty card ever. This is kind of like Renounced Darkness, but buffed properly. I get random cards, but these are these get plus one plus one and because the card power level is relatively fine i can actually play this card and not feel like a loser you would think like oh but it's just the six four four well it's gonna draw me cards and those cards are probably gonna be pretty good i do want to play this because the opportunity is in there for me to do this so i'm gonna just like kill this pop behind shields uh, freeze this bad boy, because he's pretty big, and plug this in to finish this off. Easy game. This is so satisfying, bro. Every little fucking point matters. Every health point. Every single card in your hands can do things. At, at that moment, at every single turn, every card matters. You're not just, like, looking for which Borkler to play. You actually uh, have to do things properly. This is what will teach you tempo in general if you play Hearthstone. You will still learn how to play Hearthstone by playing this game. Funny enough. This is the crazy shit, right? And I will evaluate one more time. Because uh, there's something uplifting going on about this, right? Here's another little interaction. I want to mummify his best card. I don't know what the best card is. Probably one of the Atronachs. But what I can do, I can force him to draw a card. And now I have more chances to hit something big. Very small interaction, but like shit. It feels like strategy, bro. That you wouldn't normally perform uh, in Deathstone. I wanted to hit this one. This one's pretty big uh, in terms of stats, but 
We missed, actually. Alright, let's see it. Let's see it, boys. This! This is so cool. Just simple trebuchet, which is dealing 4 damage. At the, uh, at the start of your turn. You would think this is a weak card in this game. It's pretty fucking OP, bro. It's OP because cards don't just disappear randomly because your opponent has spells and removals and minions on the board. You can put in the shadow lane and all of a sudden it's gonna start doing things that... Uh, if my opponent could cry and it wouldn't be just a simple NPC, they would cry. So let's make him cry. Let's... Oh shit. Alright, that's fine. Might as well put a taunt in there. There are limits to good manners. We don't want this. This guy is toast! Okay, okay, he's gonna dodge potentially with this. So let's see where it lands. Okay. Yeah. It's the most satisfying thing as well. Smash! Throw rock! Show good graphics. Boom! Oh! Oh! That hurt, bro! Your giant mini just disappeared. Fuck yeah, bro. Do you understand what I'm playing? What what game I'm playing? Not Hearthstone! Flarely! Cause it's like it's good. Okay, this is actually a trap. This support. You'd think you would get so much value over time, but <laughs> That's not how time works. You literally wasted tempo playing this. This is one of the worst supports ever. Uh, unless you're like looking for corpses or something. I don't know, man, what you're looking for in this. Summoning things is pretty cool. But not like this, bro. You're better off just drawing cards. I'm like a dick pimple with a gold. Fucking dick pimple? Jesus, this guy. This guy pushed. Buttons, bro. I want to quickly remind you all the mechanics. You got to take the open lane. You got to use the runes as a additional resource. But first, you have to protect yourself as best as you can. That's the strategy. One, once rune is broken, every five health you got a hard, amazing stuff. An amazing layer of strategy for sure. Because sometimes it's beneficial when your opponent attacks you. Crazy, I know. Allowing your opponent to do things is crazy. Whoa. Oh fuck, I lost the gamble. I don't know if I can beat this thing. This giant. And now well protected as well. Ooh, disgusting. If I hit him like this... I can set him up for a board player. That's my best bet for now. Borkler's gonna hit him. Let's see it. Fight! Yeah, let's go, let's fucking go! Who goes there? Awaiting your Borkler. Smash your face. Everything. Now that's satisfying, bro. Boom! Look at that shit. I kind of misplayed, though. Sorry for inconvenience. If I lose this. <laughs> Fucking dodged it. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Now we're, we're, we're taking a piss on every card game right now. All right, we do the same strategy. We make him draw a card and then mummify the card. But first, we need to get to that thing. What do I do? So if I buff one of these dudes, I basically kill the 4-1. 
good enough for me. This gets that. And now we continue controlling the board for now. So we have control tools around here. Oh my god. He also has that. Now I don't feel safe. Takes damage. I think it's fine being here. Cut them down. Okay, please st stop top decking with crazy cards. All right, men. On me. Oh my god. That's pretty disgusting. I live to I serve. Live to serve. It's a pretty big one, especially with all the divine sh Oh my god, it's insane. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna be stuck here for a little bit. It's not funny. He fucking top deck and crazy cards. That one's pretty crazy too. Damn, I need something special here. All right, maybe. The of the gives us maybe home. good enough. <laughs> Gonna get so nasty. Cut them down. Long live the empire. Okay. Okay. Ow! It does kill it. Okay. What the fuck? Again? It's gonna be insane. What a battle. It actually triggered? The effect is that there has to be a red card on top. That is insane. I honestly don't care about this effect. Okay. Like, it's all good. But now I have to go for it. Just smash him real hard. Okay. I don't think I win this. Oh my god, it's the worst. Worst thing that can happen is removal. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 drain, we can do this, but, uh, you can't win. I, I don't know, I need taunt or bust, no, lost, okay, fair enough, I was close, if, if this just survived, I would have won the game, for sure. Don't make me I could hit prophecy, but no, it didn't work. For honor and glory. I'll be back. It's fucking control deck. Okay, we we have something on our sides. We have a control deck that we cannot beat. Fair enough. We got we kind of got jinxed at this point by a ten drop Can the challenger slamming my no. It's just top decks insane. It's the most insane top deck. So, that one. We'll have to take revenge. You have been Even this bad boy is not that bad. When it blocks all these pilfer. So funny. It just does what it has to do, bro. Block the road. So they don't steal anything. Get out of here. Just dealing two damage feels fucking awesome in this game. Bam! Destroyed. Your stealth is... is a still, still doing that. Still thinking that I don't have two damage. Eat this shit. Bam! Khajiit down. And now he's a fucking loser now. Together. Together with what? You don't got nothing. Oh shit. He literally has nothing. Alright, fair enough. I'm gonna let you pass. That's fine. And now we can buff our mana. 
just because. He doesn't even have cards. He'll be able to catch up now. Unless he breaks through. Yeah, he can't pilfer a little. Oh my god, that's not good. But I just draw cards. Just fuck it. He, he's trying to defeat hit me himself, you know. I can do it myself. Well, we'll see about that. Let's we'll see about that. I can remove uh, his little uh, trick. We must protect that stronghold. Bam. You will not pass. It's amazing shit. You can actually remove locations. These are called support cards, however. But uh, it works kind of like locations. Some of them are passive, not necessarily trigger every turn or every other turn. Like literally Hearthstone is still catching up in, in terms of mechanics. They're still catching up to this game, I swear, They're in my sight. by inventing these location things. By inventing Rush, this game does not have Rush, but there's something else that they caught up to. I can't remember. I mean, Lifesteal was maybe invented actually later. After this game, I'm not sure. It gotta be something tickling my memory. Oh my god, this is the worst. The giant monstrosity. If we get hit by a removal, it's over. I not happy. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay, he's not a negative base. This is disturbing. He played that again, and this one again, and I can't kill both of them. All of a sudden, uh, a happy thing turned into a nightmare. I don't even know if I can kill this anymore. I genuinely don't know. Don't be Oh my god. So we have another opponent as well. This one just fucking got away with murder at this point. It's pure murder. Fucking hell. <laughs> that combination is the worst. Getting two of these fucking pilfer overlords and the pilfer supports. I mean, I'm sorry, bro. I can't win that shit. I don't think he has prophecies, but I was just not ready for that. Is it from yours? Man, like, it has a good intro, but like, now I'm not sure what I'm watching, to be honest. Passive monstrosities like these. Oh shit, they're serious ones. Oh my god, not two of them! Oh my god, please. Don't screw this up for me. Oh my god, we got saved. Dragon, activate. Cut them down. Shit, we need one more dra- No, 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 we got him! We got him! He couldn't even generate a second curse against the dragon. Now he's gonna just stay there and eat some big chungus, bro. Okay, just, just that one. Or is it? Mmm, smash! Not big enough. Shit, I can I can get whatever I want for Christmas. Okay. Maybe we do that. Then we take those. All right, that's fair enough. Can't do nothing. Wow. Summon each friendly creature. No, no, trigger summon abilities. So this one has a summon ability, that one. But these ones matter. I can do it. It's funny. Funny meme. So, uh, let's take a recruit now. That's the only thing I can get. 
and then buff this. Alright. Where did that come? Geese of man fucking. Fair enough. See, like, like this is six lines of oh technically seven. And it fits a card. Unlike in Hearthstone. This is interesting. I guess Hearthstone was catching up in terms of like creating titans that secretly have fucking ten lines of text. Yeah, Hearthstone has not yet caught up on like the breakthrough effect. So that's still unique to them. Regeneration is technically not invented in Hearthstone. I don't know to be honest. A blight on you, don't I'm just still stuff to do. Stuff to steal from this game. I think the way to beat the control deck is to take the great sword, it's it has value guys. And we, once we get to 12 mana, I can use it twice and destroy all the giant no nuisance. I'm hoping that I can kill Monk, the Pilfer, the Thief first, and then we go to the final round. So yeah, in this case, this card not doing so well. Kind of have to play it. So if I do this, my card gets buffed. Shit! That's some strategy right there. Oh my god, you wouldn't expect shit like this. And if I draw from him as well, it is random though. It's so cool, cool though. It's crazy. Let's finish this off. Invades. I think I can afford doing this, but best thing to do is just skip all the triggers. Prophecies. Go 15! Boom! It is the wackiest thing to be able to play support like this so quickly. On turn 3 especially. Like, what the hell? That immediately randomizes my deck. I'm worried about this guy. I might even fucking leave him for last. At this point, we have five monstrosities. I It would be a miracle for me to win this. I don't even have drain cards, for that matter. I don't have prophecies to defend myself. I don't even know, bro. <laughs> it just got worse. This is gonna kill me faster. Let the death begin. And I want to keep Borkler. Hopefully I survive until turn 6. And he doesn't summon a 10-10. Ugh. Okay. Well, it's, it's happening. He's summoning. The big boy. And uh, what weapon does he equip? Uh, too big. Too big to fail at this point. This might be handy. We're fucked. Yeah, cool. Good, good while lasting. You know? Still on turn three, though. What the fuck? Now we lost entire game. Do your work. Just like that. Oh god, it's so evil. If only I could summon like a 5 health creature, that would really help. Still live one more turn. So, maybe this lives, but I don't think so. Whatever you want, if the coin is good. What the fuck? No, it doesn't work. Pain and ecstasy. So I'm at one health right now. 
successfully. I am death on silent wings. Does that mean I'm dead? He's at 19 though. So is there a way to live? This goes here. This goes here. There's a way to live, my friends. And that fucking is crazy. You will in fact settle this the hard way. No, there's no way to live. I forgot. This costs more mana. The worst part of, about this game is that you lose to aggro. <laughs> you fucking lose to aggro because there's no control tools anymore. You just lose. The battle is yours. So we got memed out of here. This this was not good. I should have just defended myself properly. Also, you just take every single train minion you can get. I think I, I was fighting against, like, literally at least six of them, the strongest ones there are. The strongest decks there are. The taunt one that killed me is still pretty fucking ridiculous. So I'm not sure why I lost, whether the opponents were too strong. Well, <laughs> I would not have gotten nine wins with anything, almost. I could care less because I just like surprising people. Now instead of farming or doing objective things, I was setting up cameras in the forest and just waiting for some unsuspecting weed of a wolf that were about to get shoved up her ass. When my alt wasn't up, I was about as useless as an OnlyFans model when you have- Wow. That's an insult Close right there. Up. You would think this card is weak. But- it's fucking crazy because when you trade properly and efficiently when you find the right moment to click the button and use the elixir i mean uh, instead of a dead creature you have a 4-1 left over like it's fascinating or you're able to kill something that would have a passive ability and kick your ass otherwise in that sense, every single item, the so-called weapons and armor and all that shit is incredibly OP. But so is uh, removals. Every support is insane, as long as it's not a 5 mana generate a 1-1 one -one support. So I always take that shit. It it landed me. Yeah, it started strong, but like, whatever. Interesting. Maybe we just do this. We still draw cards. So not worthy. We draw so many cards from this. As long as I have the healthiest creature. Yeah, with enough card draw you can win any game like this. You have all the options of what you have to do. I don't know why this was printed, but it's just one of the craziest cards. Am I getting obliterated again? In terms of subscribers? Look at this guy with 297 subscribers. Dude, he still has a plane. My god, it's the worst. Why are we losing this one? Put it over here. I can't quite break it, but it doesn't do anything, and I lose. I do here. I sort of live. But it's still a nightmare. Jesus. He trades, and I'm fine. It would be a miracle if I survived this.
Don't, Don't make, make me, me hurt, hurt you. you. <laughs> So what do we do now? We need to summon as many minions as possible. And survive at the same time, and uh, I cannot do neither of those things. I can doppelganger. And barely heal. But not out of range, now it's over. Fucking hell. I am s no longer in range, actually. Whoa! Prophecy saves my ass. For the moment. Damn, this is intense as hell. Alright. We can do this, into that, into that, Don't this happens, hurt. this, I can go on, on just one, survive on one point of health. Uh, I think that's the best shot we have. But let's not risk it. Don't make, make me, me hurt, hurt you. Fuck him off this way. Oh, oh! Pain! And suffering. Trying to, like, hold on to the game. You have always a chance. It's not just fucking robbed. The way the game ends, right? That's what matters. Alright, we have a permanent mark here. Okay, so I do run out of cards. And that's the worst. We will see Maybe we just... Fate. ease this guy. Maybe it's just gonna be easy. How about that? Nope. No cheese. Can't do that. Jesus Christ, bro. Obliterating my cards. Just because... I played one. He's playing Prophecy deck too, and I somehow fucking destroyed three. Ow! How do we got this far? He healed back. What happened, bro? What happened this game? Oh my god, stop! The giant monstrosity. Okay, so this card doesn't work. Go figure. Too slow. If you're losing, you're already losing. Crazy. And the removal, right? No. Oh my god, it's the worst. Oh no. Just infinite valley shit. It's gonna destroy me now. Fucking infinite, bro. Oh my god, please. It's gotta be something, right? This is not enough to reach him. Oh. Well, my deck has a problem. Let's see. I can't win anything anymore. You will regret your heresies. Justice. And that was pathetic. No, I just lost. Wouldn't even care to defend myself. You just gonna keep spamming, bro. Unbelievable. Just keeps on spamming spells. Wow, I actually survived. How kind. He's blocking me anyways. Can we like stop playing spells? It's the worst when this shit happens, bro. But it's so rare. But it is the worst. Let's settle the spell. It's mine. 
We heal full. Fully healed us. Oh my god, I still have that. Hey, yeah. There's a chance that I will lose with dignity. That's fine. Zero cost. Of course. Fuck my life, he's still gonna be alive forever. Bye, portal. Just keep spamming spells, the worst. Fucking infinite value, bro. Like, I didn't ask for that. There's nothing I can do. Bro. I have to top deck removal. Oh my god, he's just keep blocking. What a fucking super villain, this little bitch. I couldn't eat. Oh my god. That's all I can do. Just return it to his hands. Fuck oh, yeah, dude. Still better than nothing. Oh, trade? What? What? <laughs> what did you just do? What did you just do, bro? Motherfucker! He just gave it to me! I need a spell now. Oh my god, I need a spell. Oh my... He's just like, oh! You didn't like it, so I'll give it to you now. Well, that's pretty nice! That's a very nice thing to do. I'll try to draw a spell now, thank you very much. That's not a spell, that's an item. Oh my god, it's insanity. He's actually destroying his entire deck now. His deck is two cards. He destroyed my thing, so I, we, we didn't have fun with it. Oh my god, it's crazy, bro. He's destroying... What the fuck? Is... <laughs> Holy shit. That is fucked up, man. Whatever... <laughs> what? <laughs> you never underestimate NPCs, bro. Holy shit. What? It's just the same thing? Okay, maybe just... No, it's so weird. But weird at the end of turn, but it's so weird. My enemies have no! No! <laughs> what? What the fuck did you just do, bro? Oh no, the fucking last card. We can't do shit about it, bro. We're fucking lost, bro. Man, this is so stupid. He fucking spams spells and is like, Actually, my last card is a win. Oh my god, it's so stupid. It's the stupidest game ever, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck this game, bro. Uninstall. I don't know what cards we need to win any of the games anymore. We're still <laughs> losing like crazy. This time, one game. I won one game. That's so insane to me. And there's probably like some misplay that I made, you know, like if you squeeze really hard, the game is fine. It's just your bad. You know, that's how it feels to me. If I just had one taunt, one way to defend myself for one turn, he would have lost everything. I think I might have needed three more turns, though. So, well, is what it is, though. Because, again, the layer of strategy is insane when you consider that you need to draw cards. But you also need to protect the open lane. So if you can balance those things out while getting damaged and protecting yourself, you, you're fine. You're playing games. Like maybe I didn't have to play this. 
but I, I actually get part of it. Okay. The abomination dies. We're preparing for a second. One good smash. Okay. All good so far. We win this. This is a little weak. I guess we don't play then. You will regret your heresy. Smash this. Kill you where you stand. Damn. I keep a spare blade in my boot. Spare blade so he doesn't attack anything. I don't think all Hearthstone players understand that at some point you do have to give up when the game fucking sucks. It's another aspect I don't think people can handle very well. They get stuck playing the game forever. Unless a major controversy happens and they get, you know, a reason to stop playing, but that's... That's a very rare thing. When I was like... Yeah, I was uh, claiming that Hearthstone is dead. There was a lucky moment where uh, the controversy was the quest system. Blizzard was exposing themselves of how much they don't care about the player. But to reverse all, all their evil immediately after the, the backlash, right? So it kind of just weird, like, what? How did... What happened? So it was basically a social experiment moment where everything feels like a social experiment where they can't just give enough of what we need just to see what happens, basically. Just to push buttons. But some social experiment that Blizzard is doing is just gonna get too far and destroy their shit. That's the hope and dream. Destroy all of it! See, I don't even need this most of the time. Full heal. Boom. Pretty good, though. We actually have to have a board. It's too late for four mana. No, no way, this card is useful. You're better off generating, like, a drain card. Must be I'm not sure. Which is crazy, right? Like, drain card is much better than 40 point, 14 you points of healing. Me. Because usually it's just 6 points. For 4 mana, no, it's lame. There's not enough healing in this game for sure. That would help so much. Drain is the only thing you rely on. Bunch and taunt is what the thing you rely on. Next. It's just not enough. I hate that fart. That's why you lose to all the aggro decks. So, um, yeah, Warshak definitely playing fun decks called Play Card and Win Game Afterwards. Yeah, Triple Prophecy. Oh my god, and it's terrible. Okay, okay. Did we just slam this thing? We will seize our own fate. Not good. Attack. Look alive, soldiers. That's fine. Wow, four in a row. Alive. What is that? Oh no. I don't have much I can do anymore. Oh, ho, ho, fuck off! What the fuck, bro? Five in a row. Every single trigger was a prophecy. It is a fine day to fight. No, that's not okay, bro. The removal, of course, easy cheesy, bro. Unbelievable. 
I have to live another turn. Thank you very much. This better go my way. So I don't... I don't like you. This is fine to split. Because it's actually going to kill him. This. Fresh meat. Okay, no taunts. Still can No, it's over. Alright, get out of here, fool. Mm -hmm. That's a cool card. Anything else? Good enough for me. Eat it! Not even five prophecies gonna stop me. Jesus. Okay, this one's tough. Bro is rolling dice, bro. Jesus. There's so much dice rolling. Nothing matters. There's so much dice rolling in the Hearthstone is insane. Not all of it matters, but it gets pretty nasty. Here, another thing is uh, randomness is pretty low. You can see shit coming from a mile away. Just gonna fucking smash all the weapons on this thing. And it's still pretty good. Okay, I should be able to heal. Back to normal. Let's see if he... Okay, no more weapons. Disgusting. Go back to... Not existing for me. Thank you very much. Um... Just block. Block everything. Ouch. That's a tough one. Alright, there has to be a way to heal. In the graveyard, we have nothing. That's pretty good. I can kill that. So little to do so much time. Not gonna stop me, bro. Me smash. I win? Once he reveals his hands, we know. We know what's up. Let's go, baby! Obliteration. It's time to finish this off. Bam, 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 bam. Game over. This is very good. I'm gonna take guard. I could keep on talking because Hearthstone keep has so many problems. We have rope, we have long games. They're not supposed to last too long. I have no time for fools, he said. And I completely agree. Keep as many things alive and you'll win. I'm following that. And with open late taken care of. Face me, you I don't even care about this anymore. I will shackle it. Strongest dude. Oh fuck. That's not what I want. Close ranks. Let nothing through. Uh oh. Now there's two of them. Wait, Glory. Okay, we, we gotta stop this game. Because he's now at five. Oh my god, that's so bad. Alright, it's a race and I can win it. Alright. Be gone! This aspect of like racing your opponent completely gone. Arson does not have it. I don't know. It has to be like 
one in a hundred games you can race your opponent. It's not even a term anymore. The only thing you're racing is like pursuing your win condition. Not actually health racing. Because it doesn't matter. Health doesn't matter. All the sacred things of card games, Justin has destroyed it, obliterated it, and never recovered them back. Despite certain cards being extremely broken in that sense. So there's a sacred temple called Elder Scrolls Legends, guys. I swear. We can pray for activations of dragon cards and all that. Cool stuff. This is the greatest meme card ever. I love this. We're doing pretty well. I already forgot what we were defeated by. Standard right now, how are they go? Reno. Bran. Leroy. As the cards he would ban in standard. I don't know, there's there's more. Watch yourself now. I don't think Leroy is the problem. Excuse me? Excuse me? Bro, you you see that one? Like, does he not remember his own meme of uh Brain Dead Paladin? Smooth Brain Paladin. Is that not important to him anymore? Face me, you dog! Ouch. Okay. That's fucked up, bro. He got random oak orc. And uh, I'm not happy about that. Easy enough, though. Wait, what do we do? Play meme card. I don't think so. I don't think that's the play. But I don't actually have anything else to play. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if this dies. I guess not. I guess it does die. Alright, we pilfer. Face me and die. And then we play a bunch of crap. Let's heat things up. That turns into Daedra. Oof. Let's go. I rend your flesh. Evolve this, please. So it doesn't die. The fuck is that? After attacks. Too late for that. Honestly don't know. I think I'm just buffing this. So it survives me even? Okay, it does survive that. Oh my god, that's good. Gucci's. <laughs> now it's my turn to do triple prophecy, bitch. No, triple prophecy time. Wrong timing detected. Like this Wait, this thing zeal. this thing is still alive. Mine. Back off. This is gonna be awesome if it activates. It's the rarest thing you can do in this game. I need item and action. No way we fucking do that. No way. Nothing will hold It's the weirdest back. card. I smell fresh. I actually done it in uh Solo Arena. I was able to activate. Makes no sense. But it is what it is. I did it. And the Ogre Gang is game over. Eliminated. We will seize our own you will see what I mean. Need this. Ooh. What? 
Oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was close! Item. Bye bye. Like, an amazing gaming experience. Yeah, nerfs would be an amazing thing. But not just like three nerfs. Just relentless nerfing of this stupid card game. Which would include a Marine as well, because I hate that card too. Like, like it's, it's just gonna getting... Not only we don't get nerfs, we don't even get good nerfs. I read it's just like plus flash. plus one mana, plus two mana. It's fucking pathetic. And they listen to Zeddy every single time it feels like. Because they have to listen to the community after all. Like, what is Zeddy tripping? Of course they're gonna listen to him. For nerves. What do we nerve, Zeddy? Please tell us. We don't know. Because we don't know the top 1000 legend metagame thing. Please tell us, Eddie. You want Sharpshooter to die? Okay. Alright, we finished that one off. Didn't even felt pressure, even though we lost one time. Don't remember how. The other one, we, we know. We know that one. The spellcaster shit. Wrong place. Okay, that that's how we lost. Jesus. Giant monstrosity. Don't make me hurt. That's it, right? That's funny enough. This is where things get very interesting. Synergy. Not really crazy, but you know, I still charge from someone. Bam, extra two damage. Finding lethal in this game is the fucking most satisfying thing ever. Lethal puzzles are insane here. Despite this game being dead! Oh shit! Absolutely, you can make so many cool lethal puzzles. Should we avoid prophecies? There's some prophecies. I feel like we need this, but... The weird one. I'm a, I'm a push early game. The Spellcaster! Revenge time! Okay, he is pretty good at defending himself, I guess. Does this live? Believers shall flock to our noble Be livers? Be livers, bro. Be live. You can do it. Alright. This is uh, annoying. Uh, I don't know. Please don't kill it. That just kind of kills the vibe, but not the part. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jesus. My goodness. The giantism. Okay, that helped. It helps a little bit. This is a scary part, holy crap. Let none defile our okay, okay, five mana to do... Nothing! Fuck yeah. Still not winning this. Just because. Alright, that's good enough for me. For the glory of Good enough. Bad, bad boy. Leave me alone. All right, this this fucking sucked. I can't even like trigger this because it's pointless. Huh? What I can do is deal a lot of damage. Ouch! Fuck you. Like that? Okay, he does like it. No. <laughs> yeah, they do like destroying Oblivion Gates. Oh, he's back! He's back to do absolutely nothing. My boy. I mean, for nostalgic purposes. That was so fucking cool. So surreal. It's kind of 
you know, the reason why you would make a social experiment out of a hearthstone is the last thing I'm gonna say, basically. Is because it's in, in front, and it has to kill itself a little bit, you gotta stab itself. It's like... It's like the king without clothes. The king is trying its best to retire. Put it, putting off clothes, like nerfing itself as much as possible by being lazy and greedy. And just hoping that he will get conquered. He will get, he will get overthrown. So that's what I think Hearthstone is at. Just people don't want to recognize it that way. Which is kind of fucking weird, you know. Hearthstone is suicidal. <laughs> is what it is, man. For the Empire. For the Empire is all I'm gonna say. Oh shit, it's the worst one. It's the worst one! No, it's pretty fine. As long as I don't trigger all the prophecies. Thank you very much. I'm scared. I don't have a turn 5 play. Oh, that hurts so much. That hurts so much. Okay, that one's fine. You can still beat it. I'm just gonna beat it. Boom, boom, boom. Got him. So I don't know. I don't know how we beat the social experiment. But I'm gonna do my best. Because it is still worth a fight. Oh, it's the worst. Let me start drawing that shit. Oh, and we lost. We lost, bro. Sometimes removals hit too hard. It's game over. 100%. Well, good while well lasted, I guess. Oh my god, it's... It's an overkill. Fortune. Have I lied that we lost? I could draw a Borg litter. That would do something. There's no Clark draw though. Well. The see you guys no next one. time. Also, evaluation. I was not upset about anything that happened in this game, especially the mage thing. What? Oh, well, well. All the quests completed, so for a long time, I'm not gonna step in hit this game. However, for six eval- I'll do five. Five evaluations at 44, which is not good. Considering that it's still going down, but so much better than Hearthstone. Sometimes you just don't want to feel like in the roller coaster ride where bad feelings are supposed to feel good because it's like you're going down. Sometimes you get older, my friends, and then you don't want to be tortured for other people's pleasure. I can't wait until Blizzard uh, employees start typing in the comments of like, oh, I enjoyed that part where you, where you felt this emotion right there, where we refused to nerf that card. I can't wait for Blizzard employees to do that to me. Hey. So many times he was on the edge of losing the game and just by sheer luck sheer ability to clear the board he survived is the dumbest thing like even the prison thing was pure luck pure coincidence he could have just drawn etc or something else that doesn't handle the situation it's fascinating to me <laughs> like why would warshak play something like this it doesn't seem like skill at all if he attacks, he goes to six, he dies to this. Whoops, doesn't actually die. Goes to full health, actually. 
Never mind. Fucking perfection, bro. It's the easiest Sargeras in my life. Yeah, so that's part of will finish the game. Sure. I don't see Sargeras in his deck, by the way. No, it wasn't his deck. It's just out of bounds, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, so whatever he was playing is just like Borkler, 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 Borkler. Oh, I win, actually. Mm -hmm. Cool. I just, I don't get it. There's a lot more things to do, you know. I still want to test. How much fun are people having? Are they just playing Borklers? Tice is having lots of fun. Actually, funny enough. First person card game. Of course. <laughs> Because that's a thing, guys. Oh, boy. I'm just mesmerized by the thumbnails, bro. He's the most evil one, though, because he's he has that competitive spirit. So evil. All right, see you guys next time.